In this video, we are going to cover what functions are and create some of our own functions. Technically, we are using functions every time we call a shape or create a background or fill a shape with a color. All of these commands are functions that we can call into our sketches. Basically, they are just statements that the computer can use to complete a task. To make our own, we can start by typing function outside of the scope of function setup and function draw. The name of our function is going to be add because the goal of this function is to add two numbers together and return the added value. Now we want to open up the parentheses and inside we'll put what we want our function to add. In this case, we'll have it add two values we'll call a and b. Now we are going to type open and close curly brackets and in the scope of our function we will type return a plus b. What we have now is a function that can be called with the word add that requires two numbers to be passed. With the two numbers we pass, in other words, the two numbers we put in between parentheses when we call add, they will be added and returned to wherever in our program we called or used, them, used the function. Let's test our new function by displaying it with some text. In the scope of our function draw, we can type text and then in parentheses our function add and then another set of parentheses that has the two numbers we want to add. Then we'll give it a place to be, so we'll do 300 comma 150. We should now be seeing the displayed text with the value of our two numbers added together. We could also assign the value of a variable, the return value of our function call. For example, we could create a variable we will call my value, which equals zero. Then in draw, we can say my value equals add and then in parentheses two comma five. Our my value variable should now equal seven, which we can display with text. We can even pass two variables to our function. Let's create two variables a and b that equal two and five. Then by typing in function draw text parentheses add parentheses a comma b and then a comma 350, 300, 350, we will get the added value of those numbers. Obviously, creating a function to add two numbers is not very useful, considering most programming languages already have a math library that can do simple integer addition. So let's try to make this a bit more useful. Let's say we are making a drawing application and we want a feature that connects two dots together. We could type this all out in our function draw, or we could have a designated function that does all of the work for us. So let's create variable dot Let's make that equal false, and then we'll make a variable for x, y, x2, y2, all set to zero, and then we want a variable called show that equals false. Dot will be keeping track of which x and y variables should be changing, and show will be keeping track of if we should be showing our line or not. Under our function, let's create another function called connect capital D dot parentheses. We won't be passing anything into this function, so no need to type anything in between the parentheses. Then in the scope of this function, we'll write if key is down 49, which is the one key, then our dot should be true and show should be false. We'll make another command that says if key is down 50, which is the two key, then our dot should be false and show should be false. If key is down 51, which is the three key, then our show will be true. In the same function for connect dot, we are going to write if our mouse is pressed, and our dot is true, then we want to set our x and y to mouse x and mouse y. Now we want to make another one that says if our mouse is pressed 
and dot is false, then we want to set our x2 and y2 to mouse x and mouse y. Now in our draw function, we just need three lines of code. We need to call our function with connect dot parentheses, then an if statement that says if show is equal to true, then we want to display our line at x comma y comma x2 comma y2. To try out what we've just made, we can hit one on the keyboard, click our first point, then hit two, click where we want our second point to be, then hit three and our line will display. You can hit one to start over. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest videos.